this video I will be reading chapter 6 of the book Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This chapter is called The Whomping Willow. So let's get started. Ron was still stuck in the, whim the Whomping Willow tree. Get me down, get me down, said Ron. It's okay, I'll get you down, said Harry. He waved his wand again, thinking this time it would work, but it didn't. I tried my wand again, it didn't work, Ron. Doesn't look like you're going to be able to get out of the tree anytime soon. Then the tree started swinging its arms about and Ron fell down onto the ground. I'm free, Harry, I'm free, said Ron, running over to Harry. Harry? What is it, Ron, said Harry. We better go inside the school before we get into trouble. Good idea, let's go into school then, said Harry. So they went inside Hogwarts when Professor Snape saw them. Get in here now, said Professor Snape. So they walked into one of the classrooms where Professor Snape was standing. What do you two boys have to say for yourselves, he said. What do you mean, said Harry. Well, you were seen by no less than five muggles flying in the car, said Professor Snape. It was cloudy, they couldn't see us properly, said Ron. Silence. If you're in Slytherin House, you'd be on that train home right now. But because you're in Gryffindor House and not Slytherin, it's not up to me to decide what happens to you two. Just then, Professor McGonagall and Dumbledore walked into the room. I will take it from here, eh? said Dumbledore. What you two did was very wrong, and I don't want you to do it again. You two will have detention for this. Professor McGonagall will decide your detention, as she is the head of Gryffindor House, said Dumbledore. Right, you two. Harry, I want you to go and help Professor Lockhart with whatever he needs help with. And Rowan, I want you to clean out the trophies cabinet, okay? That is your punishment for doing what you did, said Professor McGonagall. Later that day, Harry and Rowan went over to the portrait of the fat lady so that they could go into Griffin to a common room. But they didn't know the password. What are we going to do, Ron? We don't know the password for the portrait of the fat lady. Don't worry, Harry. Hermione will probably know the password, said Ron. But we don't know where Hermione is. You go see if you can find her, Harry. I'll wait here. See if anyone else comes by. Ask them. See if they know the password, said Ron. Okay then. See you later, Ron, said Harry. Harry walked down into the library where they saw Hermione. He walked over to Hermione. Hermione, a little help here, said Harry. What's wrong? said Hermione. Do you know the password for the portrait of the fat lady? Yes, I do. I'll tell you if you want, said Hermione. The password is Wattlebird, said Hermione. And you would know that if you came to school on time instead of flying in a car with Rowan. You know about that, said Harry. Yes. I really do know about it. Everyone in the school knows about it, said Hermione. Anyway, you better get into the Gryffindor common room before you get into any more trouble, said Hermione. So Harry went back to the portrait of the fat lady. He told her on the password, and the two of them looked at the portrait and said, What opened? And the portrait opened and they went through into the Gryffindor common room, where they saw Colin Creevy. Is it really you? Is it really Harry Potter? Do you really have a lightning bolt scar on your forehead? Harry looked at Colin and said, I really do. Yes, look. And he showed Colin the scar on his forehead. Wow, that's an amazing scar, said Colin. And then a boy walked over to Harry and Ron and said, What you did with the flying car? People will be talking about that for years. No one can really forget about that. And that is the end of this chapter, and there will be more in the next chapter. Goodbye.